IAM consult into my ASA firewall. Now I'm booting it and during the boot sequence I'm going to press escape to boot into ROM mod mode. You see the prompt changes because I'm now in ROM mod mode. Now to boot from a TFTP server the first thing I need to do is allocate an IP address to the ASA itself. And then need to tell it where the TFTP server is. So this is the IP address of my laptop. I'm going to set the default gateway to the same IP address because I'm on the same network segment. So I'm also going to set that to the IP of my laptop. Now I'm going to give it the name of the file that it's going to upload and this is the ASA operating system version 9.1.1 and I'm going to allocate that IP address to a port this is an ASA 5505 so I'm going to allocate it to the inside interface which is Ethernet 0 1 and type set and that will show us what our settings are currently set to now to boot the whole process off just simply type in TFTP and press enter. And what will happen now is it will run across to the TFTP server and it will pull that operating system in, which it is doing now, and it will load it into memory. Now this takes a, a little bit longer, so I'll speed it up for the sake of the video. What it does when it's got the file is it loads it into memory and it will then boot the firewall. But be advised, when it boots up, the operating system is only in memory. It's not in the flash on the ASA. So if you were to reboot, it would not boot up. Or it would boot to an older operating system. So now we're up. We need to copy the operating system in. Let's make sure I can still see my laptop. I can. Now I'm going to copy that file from the TFTP server on my laptop into the flash memory of the firewall. I'm copying in the same operating system, version 9.1.1. Now again, this is going to take quite some time, so for the sake of the video, I've sped it up. That's it copied across. So if we have a look at the contents of the flash memory, you'll see there's my operating system that I've copied in so I know it's in the flash memory on the on the ASA. Let's have a look and see what's set boot wise okay nothing so let's go to configure terminal mode and set the boot variable to boot from that operating system with the boot system command disk zero colon forward slash and the name of the operating system that we want to boot as a 911 dash k8 dot bin. We need to write that into memory. So now if I reboot this firewall hopefully it should boot from the operating system that is in the flash version 911. Alright, this looks promising. That's it up. Just to prove it's not all smoke and mirrors, let's just log in and do a show version. And you will see if I just knock it up the line, we are now running version 911. And that's us done and upgraded from ROM1. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to come and visit us at www.peatnetlife.com.